Hello YouTubers, hello subscribers. Um, I hope you're having a wonderful night. It's it's Monday and I was just watching this segment and it made me stop wash, washing dishes, literally. And um, I need to talk about it. It's, it's such a disturbing conversation. And this is based on Harry and Meghan's supporters. And this is why they are in bulk. Megan and Harry continues to be emboldened and feel justified and okay with their stuff that they do because they have people like um, Mina Mitchkoff patting them on the back, encouraging them to do this stuff. And until people like Mina Mitchkoff, The View, Sandy, uh, Sunny, Ernest, and all of the other Sussex Squad people that continue to excuse their behavior will constantly allow them to do this stuff. Meaning, think that they are correct in their um, nastiness to go after anyone, Harry and Meghan, that are not on the Sussex Squad. Okay? So this is the GBN. I'm going to post it. It is a much watch moment. And so he starts off and he says, he talks about Chris Rock. Okay. Chris Rock did a stand up comedy on Netflix about uh, Megan saying that the royal family was racist. And what Chris was saying was, is that no, Megan, they wasn't racist. That's just something that all people want to know, black and white. And since you, in, in my mind, Chris Rock was saying, you hit the jackpot, but pretty much went over there and started acting stupid. He did her, Chris Rock did her a favor by not actually just coming out and just telling it like South Park did. Okay? Check this out. So, Mina Mitchkoff, so the, the, the commentator, the journalist, asked Mina and... Uh, Angela Leving, because she's on there too. Do you think Chris Rock was right in his assessment of Meghan and Harry? And she said, I know he's a comedian, but he's not 100% correct. And this is why she said he wasn't correct. She said, because Harry and Meghan never claimed that the royal family was racist. Put on my daughter's bunny ears. We went to Disney World Land, one of them that whatever's in California. And I got her these ears. Anyway, wasn't old enough to know, but I'm gonna say that again. Many Mitchkoff tells us that Chris Rock, um, his what he said was not all the way correct. She that's not true. Chris Rock was dead in it and said the correct thing and it wasn't made up. It is what it is. We all, we all look at um, the color. My baby is white. My husband is white and I'm black, but she has black in her. So she's a mixed race. And all of us family members were wondering, what is the baby going to look like? Is she going to be dark? Is she going to be light? Is she going to be like a high level yellow color? What? Was it in a race, racist comment? No, but Megan likes to twist things. So let's just get that out the way. But many tells us that Harry and Meghan never said that the royal family was racist. And that's a bunch of BS. Many. Because they did. They insinuated. They put the seed in our heads. They wanted us to know that Meghan was thrown to the wolves and um, mistreated. And Catherine and Camilla was treated better than she was. Where? In the royal family or the press? Who are you blaming, Megan? Is it the press or is it the royal family? 
which one of the races? Because you said that someone in Harry's family had an issue or a concern about the color of Archie's skin color. Okay? Which made everybody think, not myself, that, uh-oh, the royal family has an issue with the color of Archie's skin. And that's when Oprah said, who's having that conversation? And then Megan looks away like she knew she didn't say something she shouldn't have said and said, I, I won't say it. No, Cal Odie. Excuse me, I said I wasn't going to call her names, but listen, you can't throw something out there and then pretend you don't know who actually said it or if anybody is saying it. You can't, you can't say, well, you heard it or they said it and then say, oh, by the way, I can't tell you who said it because it may be damaging to them. So why even say it at all? Sorry, I don't know where I left off. <laughs> Intermission, baby duty, it calls. Okay, so let me go back really quick. And I hope I, I didn't totally mess up where I left off. But the racism. Because this bothered me, and this is why I have this channel, because of her lies, her, her, um, her trickery, her wanting us to believe that the royal family is racist and threw her to the wolves. And this is me explaining away that, because she lied. So, basically, she tells us, and I don't know where I left off, so I got to just figure it out. <laughs> um, Mina Mitchkoff tells us that Meghan and Harry never said that the royal family was racist. That's the same stupid stuff that Harry said. Yes, you did. Several times. Let me give you the receipts. When you sat on Oprah's couch and told her that they were, they, whoever they was, it wasn't the media, me, Mina. It was the royal family that she accused of saying something about Archie's skin color as to why Chris Rock mentioned it in his stand-up comedy. So we're not stupid. <laughs> Number two, like Angela Libby, Levin says, she says, hold up, wait a minute, Minnie. Then why did Megan say that Camilla and Catherine had it, didn't have to experience racism but she did just like when she said they called her weighty katie which she had no business bringing up that in her oprah interview but she thought it was a good idea to compare her um catherine's um weighty katie statement to to racism as far as like Archie's skin color and straight out of Compton. Straight out of Compton is not a racist term or a statement. But oh well, the statement that was made that made it seem like the royal family was racist and why William was asked, Mina, was the family racist. Remember when the reporter said, hey, William, is your family racist? And he said, they're very much not racist. So where are we getting this from, Mina? If it's if if do we are we making it up? <laughs> Just come on, people. So Mina wants to let us know that that's not what they said. Then Mina goes on to say this. Here's the key. She says later, and she didn't say they. She says later. It's unconscious bias. She's just throwing stuff out there. Listen to her. Because she doesn't make really complete sentences or really complete thoughts. She's talking just like they are. Throwing things out there and hoping that it'll stick. No, it's not going to stick with us because we heard it. We listened to it. We understand it. We heard it from the horse's mouth. Hello. That the family was racist. Let's talk about this. And so she says later, they, I guess that's Harry and Megan, they tells us 
that it's unconscious bias. <laughs> that calls for a sippy do. Mm -mm. No. No, you're not going to do that. You're not going to play these games and start talking about unconscious bias. Like the journalist said, that's splitting hairs. It's all the same. Unconscious bias, racism. You're just giving it a new name so that it's easier to say it's racist. That's BS. I don't agree with it. I don't agree, especially when it's not happening to two people that are lying about this stuff, okay? Prove to me in a scenario where it is unconscious bias. Because let me tell you something. As a, if I was a white person, let's just pretend for a moment that I'm white and I got a letter in the mail saying, Oh, guess what? You're unconsciously biased. I would be pissed off because I would be like, oh my God, are you seriously fin to label me as something, as a racist? Because of whatever reason that you guys have come up with. Stop making up stuff. It may be all well and dandy that unconscious bias is there exists but in this case it is not and you can't prove it and what's pissy about it is that you can't just throw the race card and say oh it's unconscious bias this is what it is to make yourself um not feel like you've done anything wrong because you have called the royal family racist you can't change it. I'm a little loud. I know. <laughs> Sorry. Let me bring it down. Bring it down. It struck a nerve. This struck a nerve. Because for years, after that Oprah interview, everybody thought that the royal family was racist based on what Harry and Meghan set on Oprah's Winfrey show and said. And you can't tell me that Oprah didn't think so too. Because she's not speaking to these two and she shouldn't because of what they put manipulated her into believing that the royal family was racist. And call Gail King the next day after the Oprah show to let us know that it wasn't the queen that was racist. It was the other family members, Megan. Come on, guys. Okay. So no, then she says it was later. When they said it was unconscious bias. No. It was years later. We just found out a couple of weeks ago. That the royal family really wasn't racist. Because Harry said it in Anderson Cooper's uh, sit down with him. Or, or Tom. Whatever. One of them. One of them people. Tom. It was Tom. The one that did the interview in Africa. He tells Tom. He says. Me and Megan never said that the royal family was racist. You went to New York City and accepted an award on behalf of the racism. And I'm not going to read verbatim what the, what the award was for, but it's clear that the award was for that they didn't put on the shelf at home and think that that's something to praise. On the backs of the royal family, in front of the royal family, let, telling us that they're racist. Harry, you said that your family was racist. And now you guys are trying to walk it back and call it unconscious bias. No, it is not fair that you guys get to change the narrative or change the subject or make it until it... that You're changing it because you know it was bad to say because there's no evidence of it. There is no evidence that the royal family is racist. Other than what Megan is running around saying. And now Harry has come out and said, oh, but no, Megan didn't say that. Her mother did. Doria got on the Netflix and guess what she said? This is just pure racism. I told 
making that this was just full blown racism. Shut up. When Charles walked, treated you like a princess. And like I said, they the royal family has is innocent in all of this. And we supposed to shut up? That struck a nerve when when Mina said that. Because she's wrong. You can't walk back. She said they say it later. I don't care. They said it two years later, Mina. And then they accepted an award recently. Okay, let me move on. And she said, come to find out later, we realized it was unconscious bias. You can't realize something later after you didn't, after you didn't, after you have said something negative and very nasty and derogatory and something that will crush a family. Because racism is real and people take it seriously. You can't say after that, oh, by the way, we didn't really mean it. And we supposed to be like, oh, okay. They didn't really mean that because that's what Mina says. She says, they didn't mean it. They didn't mean that. And I think it's great that Harry gets to go and talk about, you know, his, you know, what's going on with him and stuff. Like Angela said, he's not going around talking about himself. He's going around talking about his family. Angela said, what does that got to do with, um, with William's penis? Being circumcised and Kate being topless, his book have to do with any of his life telling us about that. But it's a good read. Mina says, oh, it's a great read. No, it's not. It was torture. It was torture. It was torture to listen to Harry talk about his family in such a derogatory way. To make himself look like he's the victim. And that he is the one that needs to be patted and rubbed on the back. Then he does this stupid therapy session that really makes himself look like an idiot. A straight up bona fide stupid idiot. It, it just, it blows my mind that the defenders of these two can become with such crass things. They're yet to come with any receipts. They're, you're yet to say, they're yet to take, it. I'm starting to, to believe that their supporters have got to be narcissists like them. Because if you can't see what we're seeing and you're turning a blind eye to it, you're complicit to it and encourages it and allow them to keep the narrative going and to continue to allow these people to wreak havoc and do damage. And you cannot tell me that them sitting on that Oprah Winfrey couch lying about the royal family being racist and then accepting an award on behalf of that didn't do major damage to the monarchy until William and Charles and, and so on. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was a little hyped tonight. It just... It triggered something when she, when, when they just decide that because it, 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 it just doesn't add, it's just sickening to me that you can have, you can defend this. I would respect these people a lot better if they just came out and said something to this effect, like. Amir, Ar Ar Armani, I can't pronounce her name. She used to be on the Pierce Morgan show. Forgive me. It's a lot of names to keep up with, but I like her. I haven't seen her in a while. And I think Pierce Morgan needs to have her back on her show. Because she is the only one with integrity. 
She was the only one that said, oops, I made, and made a mistake because this is an unconscious bias. This, they flat out lied to us, the American people, the UK people, and everybody else into believing that the royal family was racist. And then they took two to three years to decide that they wanted to let us know that they never said it. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm done. Unconscious bias. That's the new term. Like the gentleman said, we're just splitting hairs. Harry and Meghan said that the royal family was racist. They didn't say anything about the press being racist. They didn't. They did not. And so many is trying to say that Meghan and Harry meant the press was racist. I don't remember the press mentioning anything about Archie's skin color. And that wasn't a racial statement. I said it. Two and three months ago, before Chris Rock came out with his special, that it wasn't racist. You cannot say that people are racist when they're not. Because it does something to their reputation. It does something to them, you know, mentally to even be felt to feel that way. Even if someone told me, Letitia, you're being racist. Uh, with, with this, with this particular issue, because, and you're being biased about it. I can get that, but racism? Bye, guys.